Hey guys, Hello. this is Escape the Day, coming at you live from Jonas' living room <laughs> uh, with our first uh, Q&A since, well, ever. So we're uh, really looking forward to it. Uh, lots of uh, awesome questions you have sent in to us and we will try to be as honest as we can in the replies. Yeah. So uh, let's have some fun with it and yeah, get started. Yeah, and before we start, if you see any cat coming by, yeah, don't worry. Jonas. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> So uh, the first question is from Daniel Sørensen. He asks, any news on when we'll see a new album? And would you consider playing live in Norway? So yeah, what yeah. Think about well, that? new album, I would say realistically, we're looking at March, April, somewhere next year. Aiming yeah. for it. We're aiming for it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, I mean, life might come in the in the way of that, but uh, that's our goal at least to. Yeah. April, March, April, somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. And so you know, we will still release some singles before the new album, so uh, you won't be like bored on the way. Hopefully. No. Uh, A little tease before the album, so uh, just yeah. to keep you guys uh, on your toes. And uh, would we like to uh, to play in Norway? Absolutely. We would like no. to play uh, <laughs> anywhere, not Norway. <laughs> no, okay. Anywhere, but not Norway. Yeah, yeah, of course we will. Yeah. Yeah. But we have no anywhere plans yet play. for where we will play after the album is released. So um, we will get back to you when we know more and about And if you that. have any tips of any places that would want to have us, uh, hook us up with an email and uh, it will be really appreciated. Yeah. So the next question is from uh, Georgi Andonov and he's asking what's the most drastic change you are ready to make in your music if the things don't go the right way for you? Well, I would say we're not really ready to make any changes because I, I think we are where we want to be musically wise. Uh, we're writing the kind of material and songs that we ourselves would like to hear. We have experimented uh, uh, a lot over the years. Yeah, so, definitely. Uh, I think we found a spot where we, uh, where our passion meet the like influences that we have. And, yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we could go on writing music forever if we want, because yeah. we're in the right spot. I think. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. This is the sound we love, and it doesn't really matter, you know. No. And of course the sound is always evolving, but pretty much I would say compared to a couple of years back we have evolved him more, I would say, uh, yeah, we have grown all as musicians and songwriters of course, yeah. so that will continue, but we are in a good spot musically wise, so I, I would not say that there are any drastic changes that could make us uh, change anything really, No, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, the next question is from uh, Mike Garays and uh, George Luna asked the same questions. Uh, what are your favorite bands and what inspire you? Um, we have a lot of different favorite bands, right? <laughs> yeah, and, definitely. Uh, and I think that's what makes us sound as we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. We all have like different backgrounds. I'm more of the typical metal and techno guy that's my background of it um so yeah. he's more i'm more like pop rock uh r&b i listen to as well but uh i i, I listen to a lot of different music so yeah yeah, yeah. me too uh, i started with a lot of metal yes uh, like you like uh, pro a lot of progressive metal and uh, yeah you know but now i listen to everything a lot of pop and yeah. uh, singer songwriter mm -hmm. you know uh, and you t you like you get take pieces from like everything. Yeah, uh, definitely. Well, what you like and you put it into your own music, you know. Yeah. So, but uh, name but favorite bands. Yeah. Uh, I've listened a lot to um, Periphery, for example. Uh, I'd say um, Heart of a Coward is uh, one of my favorites. It's more metalcore, maybe. Yeah. And uh, like radio music, I really enjoy it actually uh, nowadays. You <laughs> know, like uh, James you listen, Arthur, yeah, you, you, Sam Smith, and you know. But you listen to a lot of radio at work, so that's yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So I kind of you get used to it. You know, you're like, ah, oh, this is yeah, pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> What's your band? I guess I think it's a really difficult question. I'm just uh, listening to all kinds of metal really right now, and some techno also for inspiration. But I always tend to come back to the classics with the metal, like Metallica, yeah. Maiden, Pantera the classical stuff but then of course we have some of the more, more modern stuff like uh, soil work scar symmetry yeah um symphony x for me um, um so yeah it's really just a big variety i listen from everything to like death metal to pop metal and to some uh, random playlist on spotify so it's 
pretty much a mixture of everything, really. Mm. And you, Seb? Well, I have some bands that I listen to a lot right now, and it's like Red, uh, American band, uh, and I listen to Sad as well. The house. Okay, okay. <laughs> And I listen to Linkin Park as well and Periphery, so I got uh, both metal and pop and uh, house and electronic music, so a big variety, yeah. I think, yeah, a big variety. And that's, I mean, what, what I think makes it interesting, all our different backgrounds, and when we combine it into yeah. like w- one song, we get all the elements from, from these guys and myself yeah. in, in, into one song, yeah. That's what makes the mixture of it, and yeah. we have the metal exactly. parts that can be really technical, we have the pop and catchy elements, uh, we have the keyboard hooks and yeah, just combining it into a, into a yeah. song. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the next question then. Yeah. Uh, sorry if I pronounce your name uh, wrong, but Dimitri Sidorok, <coughs> maybe. Uh, do you consider reintroducing a female vocalist to the band in the future, or will you continue male-only clean scream formula? Um, what music lyrical, uh, what music lyrical changes can we expect on the new album? And uh, what I think we don't uh, will reintroduce a female vocalist. Uh, I think we will be male-only, but uh, featuring. Yeah, of course. We will feature female vocalists to add some ingredients to the song to make it more like poppy or yeah. Yeah. To add, add a female vocal. Yeah. yeah, some flavor. Yeah, I think it's from song to song what the song requires. I mean, if we will always aim to to make the most of each song possible, and if we feel the need of a female vocalist to make that song to the next level, then yeah. sure, we will do it. It, it really gives it uh, another edge. Yeah, yeah, it does. Exactly. It does. So yeah, we're definitely open for some featuring uh, stuff, but uh, no plans for no. permanent uh, member as such. Yeah, and if we're looking at what musical changes we will do for the new album, well, we will try to challenge ourselves, uh, make something that we haven't done before uh, in the same genre, as, of course, uh, keeping our sound, but. Yeah, we will try to. Uh, it's challenge. kind of yeah, it's kind of a natural evolvement of where we, we were. So we're aiming for. And I mean, yeah. I would say there's definitely a sub- saying some challenging material, especially for the feet and uh, right hand. It's some, some tricky rhythms. So that's yeah, we're obviously trying to make the best songs possible. And in the meantime, we're like pushing ourselves forward yeah. technically and trying to uh, yeah, keeping it interesting for ourselves as well, of course. Yeah. But always with the focus of making a good song. So. Uh, yeah. I think it's it's a constant process really for us all evolving as musicians and songwriters so yeah we're uh, doing what's required to and lyric wise I think we, we love to write about emotions so we we're we will keep guys. we will keep yeah, <laughs> we, we yes. will keep that in our lyrics as well but maybe there will be some kind of uh, themes that we haven't taught uh, Singed about before or, or yeah. you know, read about before. Yeah. But mostly it will be about emotions. But I can, so. I, I mean, the red thread for all our lyrics is pretty much, I mean, emotions, uh, relations in life. Yeah, it's so like such, daily stuff. Yeah, that you pretty can much be, daily stuff. Uh, anyone can relate to exactly. in some way, you know. Exactly. Stuff that people can relate to uh, in different times uh, of life. The cats so. are going wild here, yeah. so that's why they're. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, that's it pretty much, yeah. Cats. Cats, yeah. yeah. Let's take <laughs> the next, uh, the next. question. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, the next question is from Rodrigo Javier uh, Basonic and uh, writing Long time fan here, been following you since Mindscape. Where does your inspiration come from, vocal and melody wise? Cheers from Argentina. Well, che- cheers back to you Rodrigo, cool that you have been with us for all these years. Yeah. Appreciate it, definitely. Uh, well, vocal wise I think it's best for you guys to really <laughs> reply on that. Yeah, well, yeah. vocal wise I think... It's all about the music that you listen to, that influence the melodies that I sing, I think. Uh, I don't know if I could like point out certain piece that I listen to that influence my vocal, but as, as the bands uh, that I talked about earlier, like Red, Linkin Park, Said and uh, other stuff that that that's that's musicians or bands that influence my vocal, I think. Um, 
Yeah. yeah, but I mean, it's yeah. difficult to say, I mean, where does the inspiration come from, right? Yeah, it's, it's a mood. Uh, yeah, so, it's sometimes just... it can go well, like a couple of weeks and you just don't have the motivation or inspiration to, to write anything. Sometimes you're in a flow and you can like create a blueprint for a song in one evening. Yeah. So it's really uh, difficult to say. And I mean, mu- melody wise inspiration, it's uh, yeah, it's kind of emotion driven sometimes. Yeah, it, and, it uh, just comes to uh, It just you comes to you sometimes. and... Uh, yeah. It starts off with one melody hook and then it's just like snowball effects and uh, you continue the writing process. Yeah. So, yeah. Hard, hard to say, but... Um, yeah. And uh, what about... I don't know if I can say anything about uh, yeah. the screams, really. It's... Uh, um, you you try to like keep it keep it interesting, I guess. You know, uh, a scream is a scream and uh, uh, you try to uh, tell something with it, of course, but... Uh, yeah, just trying to keep it interesting. R- uh, rhythm, what, what do you say? Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah and, and with the right energy also. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. the right like, emotion to it. Yeah, yeah exactly. definitely. Let's take the next question then. Okay, so the next question is from uh, Hassan Ali and Sierra Rain. Um, are you guys planning on touring? If so, where? Not, not really right now, right? No. We're no. focusing on, uh, on, on the, the album, album of yeah. course, yeah. Uh, putting all our focus and effort and effort to that, yeah, yeah. making yeah. as yeah. good as possible. And uh, but yeah, we want to do some kind of touring, I think, uh, but we don't know where. So or when? Please, yeah. <laughs> do you have any venues and stuff at your city that is great? Please write it down in the comments so we could get in touch with that uh, venue or that manager for that yeah. venue. So or if they get in touch with us for yeah. our contact details that you yeah. see uh, in the end of this video. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Let's take the next one. Yeah. Oh, I got the same guy. I think. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, but Dimitri Sidorok. Uh, how's the recording process coming along this time around? Possibly share some interesting stories. Uh, and what's your take on Sebastian doing harsh vocals and Jonas doing clean vocals for a creative propo- propose where I, it makes sense? Well, well, the recording uh, process is, yeah, I would say we're pretty much wrapping up the demo process of it and just finalizing the blueprints of each yeah. and every song. So like the shell of the album is more or less coming to its end, but then of course there will be some fine tuning of each song and experimenting in the studio um, to just get that perfect uh, sound that we want to have. Um, yeah, anything yeah. to add to that? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, no. No, I don't think really. so. <laughs> really. the, the only thing that uh, we... Uh, I really like yeah. this question. I mean, re- regarding the recording process, we can say, I mean, it's of course differently nowadays that we are working more individually uh, from our respective home studios. Yeah. So we try to meet like every, at least two times per month yeah. uh, to just uh, discuss the ideas, the songs, uh, but much of the material is written from our respective home studios. Yeah. Uh, we upload it uh, online and then we have like uh, weekly sessions o- over phone or Skype or whatever just to uh, yeah. make sure we're heading our on track. So the process nowadays is a bit different from what it used to be obviously. Yeah. And, um, but it's a nice way to work. It's, it's a nice yeah, way to work right. and it's a nice compromise of actually making it happen instead of waiting for those moments where we can all meet because yeah. Yeah. that is definitely not as yeah. easy uh, these days. Yeah, our, our lives yeah. are uh, a bit... A mess. Yeah. <laughs> not, a mess, not a mess. <laughs> no. Yours is maybe. But yeah, 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 but <laughs> no, but I mean, it's... it's uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have we have all full-time jobs and we have yeah. families. Kids and we and have family yeah. and houses and everything. So cats. Um, yeah, cats. Know. Crazy cats. So, so um, there's, there's not a lot of time to uh, take studio sessions every week yeah uh, so we need to find time on the evenings and on the weekends yeah uh, to to write music so that's why we're trying to uh, write and create music from from our home studios yeah. instead yeah. so so we could yeah continue 
Uh, with the work, yeah, exactly. Yeah. With the poker stuff. And, and uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, what you say, Sebastian? <laughs> you want to do some uh, screaming? <laughs> I, I don't think that's I a good idea. Because yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah. But you do some of that on the, yeah. the demo material, right? Yeah. Like those whispering ghost yeah, screams. Yeah, but, the, but that's <laughs> most. That's most to like present the idea yeah. of what yeah. you will scream, you know. Yeah, exactly. So in the writing yeah. process, we uh, we uh, try uh, like I do some singing and he do, does some screaming, but it's yeah. just for you show and uh, you really don't want to hear it. <laughs> Especially be like a bonus, singing, a bonus you know? feature on yeah, exactly. you know, yeah, exactly. yeah. Uh, yeah, but, but it's, it's a lot of technique that is involved to do the right scream. Uh, so I, I can do that because I have no, don't have the technique. And, and I can't sing. So it's uh, simple. <laughs> everybody, everybody can sing, but just differently good. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> So that I hope that's a good question for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, vi tar bort en uh, yeah. yeah. Answer for that. Jag ska bara flytta katten så att han flyttar kameran hela tiden. Yes. Kom kiss. Kom. Här. Kan jag lägga bort det? Kom. Fan, det är jättebra ska jag fick på jag bara. I really like this question. <laughs> I really like this it's question. a good one, oh. you know. Yeah. So, I'm back on track, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, moving on. Next question. The next question. This is from Metal Theory Radio with a lot of questions. Yeah. Three questions. Three ones. So, how many songs will the next album have? I think let's start off with answering that question. Yeah. And, um, yeah, uh, somewhere in between 11 to 14 songs, I would say. Yeah. Uh, yet to be defined, but uh, yeah. somewhere in between there. Yeah. And it's just important that we feel that uh, only killers, no fillers. So, uh, that will kind of decide the amount of songs, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, second question, uh, how many demos will be remade for the new album? Well, the one who lives will know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Time will tell. Time, Time will tell, tell. Yeah. Yeah. definitely. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep you curious on that one. Dum, dum, yeah. dum, 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 dum. Uh, last question from LT Radio. Can I get advanced promo for your next single? Uh, we haven't really discussed that, so... Um, it could be a possibility, but yeah, we, as, yeah we have, we'll get back to you yeah, later we'll get back uh, on when we know how we want to present the yeah, new material. material. So uh, we get back to you. Yep. Next question is from CJ Connor. What happened to a lot of your past songs with a female vocalist? I can f uh, hardly find any on YouTube. Yeah, uh, the reason of that is that. When we started off with the new album uh, three years ago, or two, yeah, three years ago, we decided to hide the old songs since there was uh, a big difference between the sounds. So the, the the older sound was more like a poppy way, yeah, and the new sound that we tried to achieve was more of a more metal way. Yeah, more metal yeah. Without, yeah. Without, without the female vox uh, so, also, so... So so to just make like a Im bigger impact, I think we uh, hide the old songs. We wanted to like draw yeah. a line, you can to say. Draw, yeah. yeah, to draw uh, a line where yeah. the new stuff and old stuff were. So uh, that's why we hide them. But we're open to like uh, unhide them and show them for you guys uh, now for the future, since uh, the old songs are like 10 kind of years the, old yeah in the so, past now so, so I, think. I think people will accept that the old songs are have a different sound yeah. in that way so yeah exactly yeah so we soon enough you will be uh, listening to this as well yeah, yeah. on youtube so Woo! yeah they will be available yeah uh, so next question from uh, alex tuponan and uh, Yoni mendoza uh, are you planning to tour europe after album release or in the future uh, no tour plans uh, currently. Uh, As obviously. we said before, yeah, yeah. All, all focus is just on the on the album, and uh, obviously, once the album is finalized, we will want to promote it in the best ways we can on all social yeah. platforms and uh, some live uh, showings as well. But uh, no no tours planned. So yeah. once again, if you know know any cool venues uh, or promoters yeah. and such, write it down in the comments below. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Sherry Rose asks, will you guys do more acoustic covers? It's such a nice contrast. Love you guys a lot. Thank you. We love you too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, we have no plans yet for any more acoustic covers, but um, since we're uh, focusing on the new album, yeah. um, 
but we're open for doing more acoustic stuff later since it's a big contrast as you say uh, and it's uh, and it's fun also to like fool around with a with a track how could we do it interesting in an acoustic way yeah so th I think yeah we could do some more uh, in the future but right now I think we will focus on the album yeah Next question is from Ranger Caterberg, I think. Uh, how do you guys see the future of Escape the Day? By the way, Tearing Down the Walls is still an old time favorite of mine. Banger of a song. We agree. Yeah, it's a banger of a song, yeah. Well, future wise, uh, as we said already, the, all focus just right now goes to, to, to the album. To album, yeah. yeah. Just uh, finalizing the songs, making them the best possible. Uh, making the whole sound of the album as good as possible, making it like really, really heavy, solid sound. Um, yeah, and I mean, after the album release, um, continue to working more actively with all our social medias. Yeah, I would say uh, more frequent videos for you guys, maybe on, um, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and such. Um, there will be some live shows, of course, uh, in the future as well, but. Yeah, no, nothing that is planned right now. No, no. Um, so yeah, the future wise, I, I would say more interaction with you guys in every possible way. Um, so let us know if you have any ideas. What, what would you like to see from us? Any special mm. request? I mean, hook us up with uh, some comments and uh, we will make sure to m make the best of it. Yeah. So, next question from uh, Salvo Russo, uh, writing, Gent, Synth, Metalcore, etc. Is there anything else that you could be experimenting with to, into metal music? Uh, yeah. Definitely. You, are, are, are there any limits, really, uh, no, to what you can do? No, no, no. I think no not. You can uh, try anything. It's just a matter of playing around in the studio. Yeah. And what sounds good sounds good. So. Definitely. Um, yeah, we, we love to, like, fool around in the studio. <laughs> yes. And to, different uh, sounds, yeah, exactly. And I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's no harm in uh, playing around. And if it's yeah, as, you, as you said, Seb, if yeah. it sounds good, it sounds good, and uh, might might take you to new interesting places. Yeah. So we're yeah, open for that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. No limits. No limits. Victor Salas asks, what kind of music are you guys listening to nowadays? Uh, we yeah. kind of answered that yeah, before, we, right? Yeah, but um, say once more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything. I almost. Say. Yeah, almost everything. Yeah. It's uh, It can be pop, house, techno, uh, metal, obviously, um, pop metal, metalcore, you know, anything. Anything that suits you uh, yeah. uh, in a specific moment or day, uh, your, your mood, you know. It, it comes in waves yeah, for me, definitely. Yeah. I mean, right now I'm, I'm kind of in the mood for some really uh, brutal stuff, so it's kind of a lot of death metal, yeah. lots of thrash metal. Uh, I can see that. You're all cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm looking pissed off, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but, but that's for now. I mean, then, then there come other times I'm listening to more softer stuff. Uh, so, yeah, but right now it's a, it's a time of uh, hard stuff, yeah. <laughs> and for me, it's everything. Uh, I listen to pop rock metal dance uh, electronic music as well so i have no uh, no special genre or no. genre uh, so everything yeah. yeah next question is from dasa bjorn and isles i think i pronounced it right uh, would you love to <laughs> Would love to see more merchandise and uh, would you guys ever do another cover song yeah, merchandise. We would love to do that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we don't yeah, know what. We, we don't know what. Would no. you? Would Would you guys want to have like T-shirts, hoodies, <laughs> tank tops, sweatbands, trousers, patches? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But uh, write what yeah. you would be interested in, and uh, yeah, let us know. Yeah. Comment down in the comments below. Yep. 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 And would uh, another would cover? Another cover. Yeah, why not? Maybe. We would, and I mean, maybe. maybe. Yeah. yeah maybe. That honestly could be a smart thing to do, depending on the timing and the, which song it is, because it, it could lead to great exposure, definitely, yeah, yeah, if yeah. you have the good timing on it. But uh, no songs really right now that we. Uh, focus on the album, yeah. Yeah, once focus. again, once focus. again. One thing at a time. We're 
too old to do too many things at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> too old. <laughs> yeah. Next album. Uh, no. Next album <laughs> comes <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah. Next question is from Alexander Ekstrand. Uh, asking, what is your vision for the next half year? Yeah. Focus on the album. Focus on the album. Focus. <laughs> That's the answer yeah. of the day. We, yeah. Well, we, would, we will focus on recording stuff uh, that will be used on the album, but we will also try to uh, do some more videos for you guys so you could follow along the work that yeah. we were trying to uh, achieve. Yep, yep, yep. And some from the studio, like live footage from yeah. uh, tracking guitars, vocals, uh, mm. creating synths, whatever. Um, mm. And, um, and also, we, we started our Instagram account uh, like some weeks ago or a month maybe. Yeah, yeah a month. A month ago, but uh, that's a purpose or that's the that's why we do that because we want to share some more small yeah. stories for you. Just yeah. making these yeah. some snippets of just some uh, studio stuff, just making it easy. Um, so if you're not following, make sure to follow us and yeah. make sure to invite your friends so that they follow. Yeah, you um, found the... the uh, Instagram uh, name down in the description below, so you could, if you, and the link as well, so you yeah. could uh, follow along. Yeah. yeah. Sierra Rain asks, "What does your band name stand for?" Escape the day. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah. Right? <laughs> no, but I mean, we all have our daily lives, kind of with the the routines, the like the I don't know hamster wheel. Hamster yeah. wheel just going around and around. So yeah. it's just a matter of. Uh, like kind of breaking the habit, uh, escaping yeah. the day, uh, creating music, just having fun, doing the yeah. stuff you enjoy. Escaping the daily routines, yeah. you know, for a moment, yeah. and uh, just enjoying, something you enjoying like. life and doing yeah. what's fun. Yeah. Kind of, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nothing more to add. No. Yeah. Well, All right, so the next question we have is uh, from a Swede, I suppose, Andreas Johansson, uh, asking, in my opinion, you and other small bands create much better music than bigger and more famous bands. How does it make you all feel when your songs doesn't get that many plays and we are sharing something on social media which gets a few likes and views? Facebook, YouTube and other site algorithms are much to blame for this though. Are you actively trying to reach out to more people and failing or are you content for the moment with the smaller audience you have right now due to your other obligations with your jobs, families, etc.? Um, that's a long one. Yeah. yeah, that's a long one. Where do we start? So first of all, uh, thanks for the nice words. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think uh, the music business is pretty cluttered with music. So yeah. uh, even small bands that could be big uh, have a hard time to get famous Definitely. nowadays. So I, I think, uh, well, we have uh, more or less accepted the situation and try to do uh, to, to do the best and like stay motivated and do things that we love yeah. making music so even if we're not succeeding the whole way uh, like getting famous and st standing on big stadiums and play for a lot of people we will do this uh, more or less because we love it yeah it's yeah. a passion and we haven't really uh, given it that much yeah. uh, I think we need uh, to be honest yeah. about that yeah. as well yeah. that uh, I mean it's effect kind of, uh, of our efforts right yeah. Um, yeah. We have not put in that kind of time to it. I think I'm quite convinced that if we yeah. would work more actively with all our medias, we would have bigger exposure. Yeah. But once again, it's a matter of time, prioritizing the little time that we have, and sure. we choose to put it on the recording process, yeah. creating the songs. More or less. More or less uh, mm -hmm. right now. Uh, so there's definitely room for improvement there from our side. And uh, once we get that, I'm sure maybe we will have bigger exposure. Yeah. Um, think so yeah but since we since we have like families and stuff as well we need to split the focus uh, to, to make everyone happy yeah, yeah every, right. everybody needs um, that's life. everyone yeah. is the, that is connected in some way needs to be happy so so we could do the yeah the music on our f uh, spare time exactly right? stuff, yeah. exactly hmm. so that's why maybe we're not that famous that <laughs> Some hope that we would be. We wouldn't. We wouldn't mind to be. No, uh, definitely not. So, no. Uh, but who knows? I mean, album yeah. number two. Maybe that will take us on a new journey. So yeah, maybe. Let's see. Let's yeah. see. Next question is from Sack Chambers. Uh, I'm just curious. How did you guys think that techno and death meets would go? 
Uh, what's that? Mean? Yeah. What's meats? Uh, well, meats. Is it beets? Yeah. Maybe. No. Yeah. I think I think uh, sack means like how, how does techno and death metal meet in yeah. in a music ah, way. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if it's called something different, but time to be a kiss as lol. I do love the music. Just curious. Keep up the good work, guys. Uh, and Zach, thank you for the kind words. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Uh, well, uh, I think techno and death metal could work. Uh, we're not playing like death metal, but if, if playing, that's what you mean, because yeah. we're I don't know. We're just curious about the meaning of the question. If it's actually of techno and our music or if it's a theoretical question of techno and death metal music yeah, because, if, we, yeah. if we should try it out or yeah, something, yeah because we're definitely not a death metal band we're way too slow for that um, <laughs> we have some elements of uh, yeah metal for sure but it's no death metal no, no. Um, but I think it could work uh, yeah, definitely. it's all about the right key elements for that genre yeah putting it together to make it uh, work so yeah, yeah. It would be like an experimental thing in the studio, but yeah. I think it could work, yeah. yeah. And if you mean this question in any, like, in any other way, then let us know and we'll re yeah. reply otherwise. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we're kind of guessing what you meant here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe it's the last one, maybe? Yeah. 1990, yeah. Mm. Maybe. Bye! Yeah. <laughs> Then, yeah, <laughs> I think we're finished. Yeah. <laughs> well, awesome questions, guys. Yeah, and, uh, good ones for, yeah. sure. for sure. I hope you like this video. Uh, and if you have uh, some more questions that you would like to ask us, please let us know in the comments below. And once again, uh, we appreciate all your help and ideas that you might have. So, yeah. if you have any ideas of what you would like to see from us uh, in terms of videos or material and such, then once again comment below and uh, we will try our best to make it happen yeah thanks for your time and we'll see ya see you later see you later, see you later alligator <laughs> peace out Bye. come on <laughs> okay. Your ass is in the video oh. now. <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake that ass. I don't know how to say it. I'm so excited. We'll see it. So can I buy us a house so we can time on it? Yes. Dude. What's the time on? Sending live from Grobo. <laughs> Sending live from Aggeton. <laughs> Welcome to Aggeton. <laughs> see the three of us and the cats. Yes. And two cows outside. <laughs> <laughs> Det var inte så bra.